now. Temperatures are in the 90s again in New York. There's talk of 100 degrees tomorrow. So what do you think the folks at the, the United Nations, just on the east side of this pressure cooker, what do you think they want to do now in the middle of all of this? Well, they want to cool it down by hitting some billionaires up. A tax to bring down temps. You heard me right. The United Nations is seriously considering a proposal to tax billionaires to help fight climate change. Here's what worries me, though. No one at the White House has come out against this. So get ready for this. Mark Rano of Climate Depot says this isn't going away anytime soon. But, man, um, I'm not understanding what the, the tax of the billionaires is going to do. To what end? Well, what, are you doing? Well, what are you trying with this money? I mean, uh, we know that from the G8 summit, we know from UN summits, they actually believe that acts of the United Nations and acts of Congress can control the Earth's weather. And what they're trying to do now is go after billionaires. And there's about a little less than, I guess, a thousand billionaires worldwide, the United States having the most. They want a 1% tax on their wealth to raise, uh, I think, $4.6 billion. In addition, they want to have a carbon tax to raise $250 billion per annual to fight global warming and to help develop Developing countries ostensibly and and the perversion here is they're actually going to help the developing world 1.6 billion of them don't have running water and electricity help them not to develop they can't have carbon-based energy like we can the UN wants to remake it so they want to use the billionaires money to make sure they suppress wealth creation yeah I'm sure many in that region of the world might I don't know like food and water but leaving that aside uh, I'm wondering uh, about what they do with the science it's not been entirely proven I know Liberals go nuts every time they hear that. It just simply has it. You yeah. can't latch on to the latest heat wave and blame, uh, you know, uh, climate change, just like you can't say it's cold outside and blame climate change. I mean, I've heard both arguments. I, I guess now what I'm asking is, obviously, this would be uh, zeroing in on businesses who are staggering right now here, there, everywhere, uh, and, and push them further to the brink, right? Yeah, I mean, we actually have Otmar Edenhofer, a UN IPCC climate official who's actually been on record as saying we're going to redistribute the world's wealth via climate policy, that environmental policy and regulations has nothing to do with the environment. They're actually on record as openly admitting that. Al Gore has talked about the climate bill being the first step toward global governance. This is about the United Nations getting wealth and getting the management of uh, the developing world and as much of the developed world they can get their hands on. I just came from the Durban summit in South Africa and the Rio Earth summit down in Brazil. The UN knows how to pick exotic locations and they also know how to get money. They're talking about international courts for climate reparations and what better way to get the debt that the, the, of climate reparations paid than by going after the world's billionaires, by going after uh, a carbon tax which is going to essentially penalize wealth. Well, not only do you go after the billionaires, then you go after the companies through owners' new regulations and manufacturing rules and all of that sort of stuff. So you get sort of like a double bang for your buck. You kill them off both, so not a bad idea. You do, and it's, it's very Orwellian. We have a German wow. climate advisor calling for a CO2 budget for every man, woman, and child on the planet monitored by international agencies. This is stuff Orwell couldn't conceive of. Your home energy use, your travel, your train travel, airline travel, all monitored by international agencies. It's not the stuff of science fiction. Man, They're on man. record as calling for this. Mark, and you've been ahead of a lot of people uh, looking at this. Mark, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate it.